Hello everyone and welcome again to the expert's guide to build an LCOE and LCOS model using Excel best practices. In today's video, we're going to learn how to do an LCOE model in five minutes. So if you don't understand or follow what I'm doing in this video, please watch the previous videos from this series. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to start by setting a new uh, section here, calculation. And then I'm going to set all this to be headings too. So what are we going to have? We're going to have our periods, periods. We're going to have capex. We're going to have PV opex. We're going to have what? Insurance, right? Insurance, land list. So these are all uh, opex. We're going to have total opex in here. Okay. So what we're going to have now? We're going to set the units. So this is going to be USD. This is going to be all USD. And this is gonna oh I need the generation here so let me add the total generation in here correct so that's gonna be megawatt hour okay so now I'm gonna just set this to be unit and there we go so here here and here you're gonna have in sheet calculations we're gonna have comma one a uh, comma zero sorry so we're gonna have the total generation which is gonna be equal to 45,000 megawatt hours per period which each period means one year Total capex is going to be equal to what? 30 megawatts times 1000 USD per kilowatt times 1000 because we have 30 megawatts. But we never use hard code numbers in here. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to create a setup section. Sorry, setup section. And then here we're going to say 1000, sorry, 1000, which is going to have, be uh, 1000 here. Okay, I'm going to grab this, Ctrl C. I'm gonna paste the format in here, okay? And I'm gonna rename this to be, sorry. I'm gonna rename it to be thousand, okay? So we have it in here. And now instead of using the number, I'm just gonna use the cell formatting. PVO packs is gonna be equals to what? $8 per kilowatt per year times how many megawatts? Again, times thousand to make the unit conversion, okay? Insurance is 0.5% of 30 million. There we have land lease is going to be equals $20,000. And this is going to be the total OPEX. So let's going to plug in the periods now. So we need to build the periods. So we're going to have period 0, 1, and from here we're going to go on until 30. So let me just going to cop across. We go to 30. There we go. Okay, so now we can plug in the uh, capex, opex, and energy streams to the period. So the generation, we don't have generation on period zero, but we have from period one. So this is going to be equals if what? This equals to what? Equals to zero, then zero. Otherwise, it's going to be equals to this one here. So I just hope I did the proper anchoring. Uh, I did not. So let's see what's going on here. Okay, I did an anchor here. This should be one more. Okay, now it's correct. Let me just Base these and for money. Okay, so what I can do now, I can just copy these things across here because whatever happens in the generation is going to happen on my OPEX as well. So I can just copy and paste here, and you can see everything is paste correctly. Okay, so everything's anchored uh, appropriately, appropriately. So this is wrong. I don't need it. And now for the totals, I can just press this, and then I can only make this to be Alt H B. Alt. 8BA, sorry, not A, out it B, top, what is top? B, okay, copy and paste across. Okay, so we have everything in here, that's cool. Now I need to fix the generate the capex, so the capex, the logic is going to be a bit different, so we have to just to invert here. So if it's zero, then it's the number, otherwise, just zero. We have the number here, we paste, everything's correct, okay. So now we can calculate the NPV. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to calculate it in here. So this is going to be the actuals. And here I'm going to have the NPV. Okay, so I'm going to set this to be a flag. Sorry, it's going to be a table. Okay, so I'm going to just make it a bit bigger here. And again, I'm going to just copy and paste these styles. Okay, so we have the styles. So what we're going to have here equals NPV of what? The rate. I'm going to anchor. Then the values, right? So I'm gonna say it's gonna period one up to period zero plus the first period. Again, if you don't understand why 
I'm calculating this way, okay? Watch the other videos that we have, okay? And you can learn how the uh, the NPV are calculated, the NPV is calculated. So what I'm doing here, basically, let me just go here so you can see, I'm just calculating the NPV from period one to period 30, and then I'm adding period zero, okay? I'm gonna copy and paste this across. And for here, I'm just say out equals, and we have everything in here, okay? So if I did everything correctly, it should be, we should be ready to go and to say that the LCOE is going to be a USD per megawatt hour is what's going to be equals to what the sum of the NPV of CAPEX and OPEX, right? Divide by the NPV of the generation. And here we have 5403. So let me just format here. Sorry, not this one here, this one here. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next video. We're going to calculate the LCOE not in five minutes, but in 30 seconds. Stay tuned.